In eighth grade, my dad took me to Target to pick out a camera. I went home with a brand new cherry red Sony Cybershot, which perfectly matched my iPod Shuffle. In the following years, the camera on my cell phone surpassed the quality of that little cyber shot and it was abandoned in a dresser drawer. I have no idea where it is today. I never thought in my 20s I'd be romanticizing technology from when I was 13, but I also couldn't have guessed that it would progress so quickly that every new iPhone that came out would capture pictures and videos somehow closer and closer to a perfect replication of my vision, and that that kind of replication and uniformity would bore me backwards into craving the obsolete. And it might just be the obsolescence that makes it fun. Old cameras are so inconvenient. The huge clunky batteries, the varied memory sticks and SD cards, the mini, the micro, the zoom button that gets stuck and you have to jam the base of the camera onto your palm. In some ways, I almost have a sympathy for these abandoned little gadgets and reviving them has become a labor of love. I don't know if it's just because our generation collectively has stored associations between these camera textures and our childhood moments, or maybe it's just that the pixelation and distortion creates a space between reality and playback that registers as dreamlike. Or maybe it's just the way that nostalgia for the past manifests in every generation, and it's a passing fad of an ever-shortening trend cycle. I don't know exactly what it is, but for any reason, these little cameras are calling for so much attention. I've seen so much interest recently on so many platforms for these early 2000s cameras and camcorders, and I want as many people to experience the act of capturing their lives through these lenses as possible. If you're interested, the next part of this video will talk you through all the cameras that I've picked up and everything I think you would need to get started with them. Hey there, welcome back to another video. I just wanted to pop in quickly and say, hey, first of all, there's a lot of new people here, so I'm really excited. Um, I wanted to just say I'm super grateful and excited to have you all here. I'm saying excited so many times, but I am. Um, I love making these videos so much, and the more people that I get to share them with, the more fun it is, and yeah, I really appreciate all of you so much. And I'm really, really, really happy. I've been making a couple of TikToks where I talk about the digital cameras that I use in my YouTube videos and I'm getting a lot of questions about them so I thought this would be a better place to answer them more completely um, and also to show you the cameras in depth and talk about what memory cards and batteries they need because I know when I ordered them, it was kind of a struggle to figure out exactly what accessories I needed and I ordered a couple of the wrong things and it was just a huge hassle that I want to kind of save you from if I can. So yeah, I'll talk to you about my cameras now. You can find these old digital cameras a lot of places, but my top two recommendations would be on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. If you enjoy the mystery of it, you can also find these cameras in secondhand stores, but you'll likely have to dig on the internet a bit to find the accessories you need to make it work. Plus, it might require some repair. On eBay or Facebook Marketplace, try to find bundles where the camera comes with its original battery, charger, and memory card. This can be hard to come by, so I would encourage you to at least source the accessories you'll need and where you can purchase them before spending money on just the camera. First camera. And my favorite camera is a camcorder. It's the Sony Handycam DCR SX63. Uh, this camera was actually my parents growing up, so it had a lot of my old home videos on it, which just makes it extra sort of dear and nostalgic to me. It has this really nice flip around, so you can see the other side. Okay, so I'm just recording from the other side now. I'll show you. The zoom is great on this. Oh, did Rock move? Oh no, he's still there. The audio is pretty decent, I think, too. 
but overall I think this camera just has a really soft nostalgic look to it and I actually really like the sound of the zoom that goes in and out um, sorry for all of the sound that's happening right now but it takes the Sony Pro Duo memory stick and I just have the four gigabytes because that's what mine came with um, but you can buy them with much higher storage capacity but what I really like about this camera is that it does have internal storage you can just open the face of the camera and go right in here with this cable which mine also came with but I believe you should be able to purchase this Ta -ta -ta. and then I just have it to USB um, and this goes right in there and you would just put this into your computer if you have a USB reader if your laptop doesn't have a USB port, then you can just buy an adapter lightning to USB or whatever computer you have. Just drag those files into your computer and you'll be all set. Uh, the battery that it takes is a Sony model NP-FV30. And this takes, I had to purchase this battery pack because, or the charger, because we didn't have it at home. But if you, for all of these, if you just type the model of the battery into Amazon or eBay, and they sell, so many different brands sell these little travel chargers, so they're not too hard to find. It says it fits S-O-Y-F-P-F-H-F-V, which I think they mean Sony. And this is, yeah, N-P-F-V. So that part gets a little confusing, but it'll say in the description on Amazon with the charger that you're trying to get, It'll say which cameras and which batteries it works with, so just be meticulous in checking that so you don't wind up getting a charger you don't need. This just pops right in here, and then you plug that in and your camera will charge. Okay, second camera, so sorry about this noise, um, is the Sony Cybershot, which is a very cute camera. I love this camera. The photo quality on here is really, really clear and beautiful. I would recommend this for photos. The Sony Handycam does take pictures, but they're not, it's kind of a pain to do it and it's not meant for that really. Um, but this is meant for pictures and then the videos are actually a little worse quality. But I like the poor quality, that's why I'm using old digital cameras. This is what the video looks like. I think that there's a lens error on mine, which is creating these streaks. One thing that I don't like about this camera is that when you're on video mode, you can't zoom in. So you have to stop the camera and then start it again, or stop the camera and then zoom and then you can start it again with it zooms. And then you can see it'll zoom you in. I'll show you. But yeah, it's also really sweet quality. It is rock. And the audio is decent. It's not as high quality of audio as the Handycam. But it's decent. So for this camera, it takes the same Memory Stick Pro Duo. The battery that it takes is the Sony NP-FG1, which I have a replacement battery, I don't have the original, and this came with my eBay purchase. And for this, the charger that you need... Aha, okay, so this is the same travel charger. Um, here are the specifications. And this says on the face that it fits the SN VG1 or FG1 which I'm assuming for this brand, SN is how they're abbreviating Sony. Uh, so this will just, again, pop right there, and you just plug that into your wall. Okay, my third camera is this Polaroid IS-048, which is supposed to be a waterproof digital camera, and I purchased it because it was advertised as waterproof. Um, but after posting about it on TikTok, I've gotten a few comments from people that have the camera that say that they've submerged it fully in water and it's broken. So it's good in the rain. I've used it in the rain, but I can't tell you for certain that it's going to be okay in deep water. So I don't know. But what's nice about this camera, or it's kind of nice, it's also kind of annoying, it takes AAA batteries, so I just grabbed myself some rechargeable ones, because it eats battery really bad. Um, but it's not too much of a pain with the rechargeable ones, because I just have these, there's a bunch of different brands that sell rechargeable batteries, I just use these EBL ones, and then I have a charging pack for them. That's not a big deal. Um, and then it takes 
this micro SD card, which mine and I think most cam like most of the time when you purchase this, it should be coming with this micro SD card. If it doesn't, I believe you can also purchase these on eBay or Amazon. But this micro SD card just pops in the base there. And this closes and locks, which I'm assuming if you do want to put it underwater, the lock might be important. I'm not sure though. But for this one, you have to, a couple people were asking me, um, they didn't know how to turn it to video. So you have to press M on the face of the camera. That changes the mode. And when you press it once, it'll take you from picture to video. And then you can take video the same way you take a picture, just with the shutter button. So this is what the video quality looks like on this camera. I'll show you rock again. And this one actually does have zoom. You can hear the zoom, which is kind of fun. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's really pixelated, really saturated, and the audio quality is not very good. For all of these cameras, I have this Smart Q USB um, card reader. It has like normal SD reader, it has for the micro, and it has for the mini. Um, and it also has this slot, which I don't even know what it's for, but I will put an Amazon link for this, but this will let you just, again, plug the USB into your USB port and read all the videos and pictures. So those are all of my cameras. I hope that that answered all of your questions. If you have any more, if I left anything out or I'm wrong about anything, please just like drop a comment or shoot me a message on Instagram. And if I get any more cameras, I'll do the same thing. If you have any camera recommendations, definitely drop them. Uh to wrap this up, I'll share just a few more examples from each of my cameras. to help me out and support this channel, I would love if you subscribed. Also feel free to watch my other videos for more examples of what these cameras look like and to keep an eye out for future videos that will also be using them. Thank you again for spending this time with me and I'll see you next time.